our goal as a ministry is to be a place where people can come. It's a safe place. God gave us 20 beautiful acres here with ponds. It's a therapeutic facility, and we're very blessed for that. There are good vibes around here, or maybe it would be better to say, a sense of the presence of the Lord. Some of the things that I have found attractive about the way the life does their counseling is their emphasis on God's love for us and His redemption. We'll listen to them. We'll be able to understand some of what they're facing and going through. Jesus is the great counselor, Isaiah 9, 6. And also 2 Corinthians 3, 18. It's clear that the Spirit of God is what changes us. One of my favorite things is when a young person says, I feel like I know God better because they can take God home with them. I don't go home with them, but God is with them everywhere. We need people to walk alongside of those that are hurting so that they can be asked the questions and they can find a safe place to talk about their issues or their struggles. And that allows then the Holy Spirit to work. The thing I love most is just watch people's uh, relationship with God uh, become more real and alive and vibrant. I get to see redemption worked out in very minute um, and yet tangible, real ways in people's lives. One of the goals that I have as I go into counseling is how can I help them to see that, that with God there's no condemnation? God really cares about them, and there is hope. There's something really profound about companioning people and walking with them and seeing the light of God's presence being shown in those places in a way that there's hope and there's life. There's someone there that will journey with them. They'll, they'll understand and be able to journey with them uh, to a point of healing and a point where whatever they're facing, whatever they're going through, that they can live above those things. There's incredible power in relational healing. Healing in relationships brings healing in a lot of other areas of life. One particular individual told me after a number of months of counseling, said, you know, we haven't really talked about the addiction that much. We've talked more about who God is and how God cares about me as a person, what God wants for me as a person, what His grace really is. And the addiction really isn't an issue like it was. I found victory without focusing on the issue. And that was just such a delight to see because I really think that's who, that's who God is. That's a picture of God's grace. I find immense satisfaction in working with couples. It's just so wonderful to see God bringing husband and wife together, removing the barriers that get in the way of closeness. It's just so beautiful to see what God can do. One of the things that's important to me is that uh, we have counselors here that are trained, and but they also primarily and foundationally, they love the Lord first and foremost. They are also individuals that have had or chosen to work on their own issues as well. And we have this awareness here that we can only take people as far as we've gone personally. I enjoy working with women who are at a stage in their life when they're wondering where to from here. What do I do with, it, with this relationship that I'm struggling in? What do I do with this circumstance that I'm struggling in? And I enjoy being a bridge between that hard reality and who they really want to be, who they were created to be. I enjoy being that bridge and seeing um, a year later, two years later, someone say, wow, look where I've come from. One of the reasons that I'm here at Life Counseling Ministries is because I really value the opportunity to help people think through their lives, their joys, their sorrows, their struggles from a biblical or a Christian perspective. That's something that I care about deeply and find it very fulfilling to be able to do that in our work here.
thank you to all the donors that have supported us through the year. We, we realize we wouldn't be where we are without a team of people that have rallied around the ministry through the years and have supported us in really, really incredible ways. Well, the vision and heartbeat of this ministry is that we are a safe place for people to come to that are struggling with issues of life. I believe that every hard circumstance, every hard relationship we go through is a golden opportunity for personal growth. So that there's more life, there's more hope, there's more passion to live into the design and calling that we've been given. Nothing that I do, nothing of me, but the way that um, the Lord uses His children to accomplish His purposes. It feels like I kind of get a front row seat to see the Holy Spirit's work. 